hi guys my name is shea beauty welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before make sure you guys have subscribed to my channel so that you can be the first to know when i upload new videos all right let's get into it this video is going to be about how i became a truck driver i'm going to go over the process of how i became a truck driver and basically why i became a truck driver so let's get into why I chose to be a truck driver my why the thing that pushes me that keeps me going that keeps me on the truck that keeps me from being scared or fearful you know of driving a truck because honestly truck driving is one of the most dangerous jobs that you can do it's not all you know play play it's not just oh I'm just driving a truck there's so many things that you have to factor in but me being who I am I did my research and I decided you know what I can do it like I can do it so once I decided that I needed a reason a reason to really go after it and my main reason was that Prior to trucking, I was a makeup artist. I was used to making my own money. I was used to, you know, just being in control of my own schedule. And I wanted that freedom again. I also wanted to make decent money. Um, and, I, and I know people say like, you know, you don't do things for money, but truly money is the difference between you having a place to live and you being on the street. It's the difference between you being able to go on that vacation or not so it's not just money it's, it's you know the freedom to do certain things so with that being said my why was my nieces and nephews my little cousins the people that were used to depending on me i wanted to be able to give them basically whatever they asked me for whatever they want whatever they need i wanted to be able to give it to them and um the job that I had, you know, the little jobs that I was working in between doing makeup and truck driving, they were okay. Like, I was okay. I was making it. I, I had decent money. I was able to pay my bills. I was able to go on a vacation. But I wasn't able to just do all of the things that I can do now um, with that job. So, <clears throat> so, excuse me. Um... I also like there is certain people in my life that I feel like you know it's my job to have their back I feel like I felt like it was my job to be able to have my people's back you know I felt like it was my job to have it if my little sister needed it or have it if my niece needed it or you know if my nephew wanted something TT okay TT's gonna send it to you I love that I love the fact that I can do things for my family and do things for the people that I love without hesitation. And I also love the fact that I can save. I can save money like crazy and take care of myself in the way that I want to take care of myself. You know, I'm a little bit high maintenance because I like certain things. I like to get massages. I like to go to the spa. I like to go on vacation. I like, you know to buy makeup and you know all of this stuff this stuff costs money but i also don't want to be spending my last on these things i want to be able to save for my future and the things that i want um trucking is also a stepping stone to something else that i'm trying to do i'm not going to talk about it right now but there's a bigger goal attached to this so when i basically looked at all of these things all of the things that I wanted and I decided you know what I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it so I talked to um, someone in my life that was already into trucking and they kind of just broke broke it down for me like the steps that I needed to take and I said okay I'm gonna do it so the first thing I did was got my permit I got my permit I got it on my own. I studied on my own. You can go online and just download, you know, whatever state you're in, uh, the CDL requirements or whatever. And basically, 
you study on your own and you go and get your permit so i did that and i remember just like I, I have this crazy like technique to studying that i can literally study something for a few hours and pass like with no problem so basically that's what i did i studied and the next day i went and took you know the general knowledge and you know, i studied and the next day i went and took air, air breaks i just i knew that i was gonna pass so i studied and i went and did it um the thing the tip that i would tell you guys for that is just if you decide you know oh, i'm gonna i'm gonna go this route don't cram everything into one day study for a part go and take that part study for the next part go and take that part that's what i did and i passed everything fast fast like in and out i was in and out and then also i passed it all on the first try so got my endorsements all of that on the first try um uh, so yeah basically once i once i got my permit once i you know did that part i reached out to cr england and initially i went to cr england but it didn't work out <laughs> it did not work out and i'll talk about that another time but basically um it, it, it wasn't for me I would say that and I almost got discouraged and I almost was like you know what I'm not going to be able to do this but I went home and I reached out to some more schools and then I ended up going with Prime so I went to Prime Inc in Salt Lake City and that was like a four week process of just you know studying uh learning how to do pre-trip inspection and all of that and then also learning how to drive the truck and i think i have some footage that i can insert from when i was at prime i'll i'll go through my phone and if i have footage then i'll insert it here i'm gonna say three one two three <laughs> three two one two three <laughs> come back and be a drink all right um once i basically i went to prime we studied for our cdl and honestly i would say the worst thing about it was just that it took so long it took four weeks like four weeks of you not getting paid and also just being there all day all day and guess what you don't get weekends off you don't get a day off they don't give you not even one day off which is crazy because we spent a lot of days doing nothing um but whatever i stuck through it it was it, it was a better fit for me than cr england so i stuck through it and i took my cdl on i think a friday and i passed it like with, fly, with flying colors y'all i did so good on my test and then um i went back home and i got my license and then i waited like a week and then prime set me up with a trainer and i went off you know to training with a trainer and that experience was honestly horrible I'm not gonna lie to y'all it was not a good experience like it wasn't a good experience for me but um let's talk about it okay let's dive into it so when I was on a truck with this trainer there was certain things that were hap that was happening and I was uncomfortable but I was trying to stick with it because I thought you know girl you typically don't do well in small spaces with people so you already know that this was not gonna be you know that but I tried I tried I, I, I pat myself on the back for trying um but basically certain things were happening where I felt very unsafe very very unsafe and I'll give you an example um my first week in training I drove in the mountains and it was snowing and my trainer was sleeping in the back sleep and she would 
not like check on me at all during my shift. She would just kind of go in the back and go to sleep and that was that. And it started to become awkward and I know I could have woke her up and said, come sit up here with me, but I felt like you should have been checking on me. Like you should have checked on me. You should have, you know, got up, made sure X, Y, and Z was okay. But I started to get like stressed out because it was snowing. My truck was sliding, the truck was heavy. And I was in the mountains and I just kept thinking like, girl, you're going to go your ass off this mountain if you don't stop this truck. So I ended up stopping the truck and I ended up telling her, you know, I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel safe. Uh, so she told me to just find a truck stop um, close by and get off and just sit there until the snow passed a little bit. So I did that. Um, I stopped. I found the truck stop got all parked all of that and then we sat there for a few hours until it wasn't snowing anymore and then we left um and then so once I got past that I was like okay you know part of that was me I, I could have I could have asked her to come up here or told her or whatever you know but I also felt like it's not my job to to tell you how to train me you're the trainer you you should know you know when to come up here or whatever but whatever, moving forward, <clears throat> we kept pushing. And then there was a situation where she urinated in a cup. And the cup fell over in the truck. So I, if, if you know me, <laughs> if you know me, you know that like grossed me out to the max. I'm a very clean person. If you ever come into my house, you'll be like, damn. Like, um, okay, that was awkward. But my memory card said it didn't have any space and it cut off. Uh, but yeah, so basically, like I was saying, the urine fell in the truck. And at that point I was very grossed out, but okay, we gonna keep it moving. Um, my trainer had also just had surgery, just had like a tummy tuck or something. So she was, I would say a little bit lazy, but I would, I would say that it probably was because of the surgery. Um, the final straw for me in training was, uh, basically we were in Tennessee. I was driving at night. It was raining. We were in like a mountain-esque type of place. I don't know. But I basically, it was my fault. I didn't merge properly. I didn't see that the lane was ending. Um, and I almost got over on a truck that had like a lady and some kids in the inside. A car, I'm sorry, not a truck. And my options were basically... I'm laughing because this doesn't even sound real, but I was basically going to go off the, off the little hill or off the mountain or, um, run over that truck. And by the grace of God, that person just sped up. I guess they saw that I was, you know, basically about to hit that car because I wasn't going off the mountain. And... By the grace of God, I was able to, you know, just kind of just merge in last minute. But if they wouldn't have done that, my options would have been, like I said, to hit that car or go off the mountain. And I wasn't going off the mountain. Sorry. So that, but that for me, it like scared the crap out of me. I was like, no, you know, I'm not going to risk. I'm not going to risk hitting someone and killing someone. I'm just not going to do it. So that night I was done. Like, I was done. Uh, and I ended up telling my trainer, like, the next day what my concerns were, what made me uncomfortable, da-da-da-da-da. And her attitude towards me was basically like, you do what I say or you get off my truck. I say, baby, say no more. Say no more. I'm going home. And I took a first-class flight home the next day. Uh, once I got home, I ended up, basically go and work for another smaller company 
and they hired me like right off the back with no experience and they paid me more way more so I ended up going to work with that company and I worked for that company for a while <clears throat> until I didn't anymore it's a great company I don't have anything bad to say about them that <sighs> okay my camera keeps doing some crazy craziness but um basically I, like i said i went and worked with someone else that i knew that worked for a smaller company and that company was honestly great i really enjoyed working there and i was able to move up and move on to something bigger and better that i'll talk to y'all about later but yeah basically that's how i became a truck driver so if you want me to just kind of summarize this, if you're thinking about becoming a truck driver, I would honestly tell you, do it. If you're, if you're thinking about it, if you're thinking about getting your CDL, the worst you can do is just like try it. And if it doesn't work out for you, you don't have to go back. Like you don't, you know, you don't owe it to nobody to go back to something that you don't like. But I personally would say that like, if you're considering getting your CDL, just to make sure you have your why, like your why you're doing this, not just, you know, some people say, oh, money, money is a big component. Trust me, it, it's worth the money. But at the same time, for some people, it might not be worth the money, especially when you're in training. It's, it seems very hard when you're in training and it feels scary because you're in this big truck and, you know, you don't want to make mistakes in a truck mistakes can cost you in the truck um but yeah i would just say like know yourself if you know you know you can commit to being safe you can commit to driving safe if you know that you don't mind you know driving or like going on road trips or whatever then you're not gonna mind getting in the truck and getting paid to drive trust me uh i honestly i would say when i'm home i don't really like to drive my car that much like i don't know why just I, I, I at one point i had very 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 bad road rage but in the truck um it's weird but i'm different you know i don't have road rage things don't really tick me off because i understand that i'm in a huge truck and for the most part i can see way ahead um, but yeah, that was a little bit of my experience and like how I became a truck driver. I don't really know what else you guys would want to know about that experience. But if you want me to go into any of it, like deeper, or talk about any of it, you know, more than what I already have just let me know in the comments and I'll make another video for you guys um yeah so I'm about to close this video out but I just want to say before I go that if you're considering you know becoming a truck driver I will honestly say that it's one one thing in my life besides like LASIK that's the other thing that I always say like I, I absolutely don't regret it was one of the best decisions I ever made also you know getting my CDL and getting on that 18 wheel it was the best one of the best decisions I made in my life um I'm I have so many great things that's you know happening and things that I'm working on things that's happening in the future that I don't like to speak on things until they happen because I don't want nobody wishing me bad you know putting that that hoodoo voodoo stuff on me none of that um but yeah i will say that it's one of the best decisions that i've ever made i absolutely enjoy driving and um yeah i'm able to work on my goals and the things that i want to do in the future this this is basically allowing me what is that oh on a camera sorry but this is basically allowing me to work my way to those goals so one of the ways that oh this is one more thing one of the ways that i pass time on the truck is by uh listening to audiobooks podcasts music whatever anything that i can put my headphones in and you know go that helps me 
get along while I'm on the truck as well. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Might be a little bit all over the place. I don't know, but you got a video. <laughs> um, I think the next video that I'm going to do is just like the pros and cons of truck driving. I'm going to go into that deeply. Basically, the pros and cons that I've experienced as a driver. So that's going to be the next video that I do. I'll record that one probably today and just post it after this one so yeah if you guys have any questions if you want to know anything about truck driving especially as a female make sure you put it in the comments so that i can put it in my next video and that's all <laughs>